Hey everyone, in this video we're going to focus on solving this equation. We have sine x raised to the power of sine x equals sine of pi over 4. An observant viewer might have noticed that sine x equals 1 half is a solution of this equation. Because 1 half raised to the power of 1 half equals a squared root of 1 half, which is equal to squared root of 2 divided by 2. And this is equal to the sine of pi over 4. But the question is, is it the only solution? And to answer this question, let's consider a function f of t equals t raised to the power of t and let's discuss its behavior for different values of t. We will first have to find the derivative of the function so let's write it down it's t to the power of t prime and here we're going to use a little tree to find the derivative. We will use the fact that any number can be represented as e raised to the power of natural logarithm of that number. So for the function we have e raised to the power of natural logarithm of t raised to the power of t prime and the exponent jumps in front of the logarithm. So we have e raised to the power of t natural logarithm of t and its derivative is the function itself multiplied by the derivative of the exponent. And I use the fact that e to the power of x prime equals e to the power of x. But since this is a composition of two functions, we multiply it by the derivative of the exponent. So now we just have to find the derivative of a product of two functions. So we have e raised to the power of t natural logarithms of t times natural logarithm of t plus t times 1 over t. Because a derivative of a product is a sum of a derivative of a first function, which is 1, multiplied by the second function. And the first function itself multiplied by the derivative of a second function. Right, so I'm looking for any stationary points, that's why the derivative is equal to 0. And let's solve this equation. An exponential function is always positive, so this product can only be equal to 0 if these factor is equal to 0. So we have natural logarithm of t plus 1 equals 0. Or natural logarithm of t is equal to minus 1 or t equals e to the power of minus 1 or 1 over e. So here's our stationary point and let's determine its nature. I'm drawing a sign diagram of the derivative. Let's put f prime here and the function itself here. Obviously we will have plus sign for this interval. Let's check it for t equals 10 for example. We will have a natural logarithm of 10 which is positive plus 1 which is now even more positive. The exponential function is always positive so the whole derivative will be positive for t equals 10 as well as for any t from this interval. And if we try something less than 1 over e, let's say 1 over e squared or e to the power of minus 2, then we will have natural logarithm of e to the minus 2, it is equal to minus 2 plus 1, it is equal to minus 1. So this factor is negative but the exponential function is always is positive so the whole product is negative so we have a minus sign for this interval and now as we have the sign diagram of the derivative we can state that the function decreases on this interval and increases on this interval so our original equation doesn't have more than one solution on this interval as well as on this interval we already know a solution sine x equals one and a half and one half is more than one over e so we know the solution from this interval now we have to find the solution here now I state that there is another solution on this interval but I'm not going to reveal it. You have to find it yourself and write it down in comments if you found it. So now when we have done all of this we just have to solve two simple equations sine of x equals one half and sine of x equals a and there we will have our answer. Thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. See you in the next one.